Hi and welcome once again to Malt Tops and Fiction. Today I've got to be a, something a bit special, something I'm really excited about, and this is the Fuller's Past Masters 1926 Oatmeal Porter. This beer was a special commemorative brew to celebrate the 90th birthday of Queen Elizabeth II, and they went back into the archives and found a 90 year old oatmeal porter recipe, which they've revived here and released as part of their Past Masters series. For a beer that's so sort of old-fashioned and British, I was quite surprised to read that they've used American hops in it. They've used Warrior and Centennial, so I'll be very interested to see what those taste like in the beer. And also they've used um, Northumbrian oats in the recipe, which should give it a sort of smoothness and a bit of extra body. So that's something I'll be looking out for as well. I'm a big fan of Fuller's Brewery in general, it's a brewery from London and um, we're lucky enough to get a number of their beers imported here in South Africa and Fuller's London Porter, their standard uh, porter, is one of my absolute favourite beers. So I'm really excited to see how this special limited edition porter uh, compares. This beer weighs in at a fairly impressive 7.8% ABV so I think we'd sort of categorise this in a, as an imperial porter as opposed to a normal one. And as usual with a porter, I mean, one of the main things I'll be expecting are those nice dark malts, uh, coffee, chocolate flavors. So let's pour the beer into a glass and have a look. Got my Fuller's pint glass here. Just gonna pour about half of it. So it's a nice dark brown. Holding the beer up to the light, I can just see a little bit of light coming through it. See a little slight reddish brown tinge to the beer. Just give it a quick swirl, see what the aroma has to offer. So, there's a bit of coffee there, chocolate as well, and also quite a bit of the hops on the nose. A little bit fruity, and a little bit of a herbal, maybe like a licorice sort of a note there. Mm. Right, so let's have a taste. a nice maltiness. Feeling a little bit of that alcohol warmth in the mouth at the moment. Obviously this is 7.8% so it's relatively high in alcohol. And there's a reasonable amount of bitterness to it. Uh, it's not overwhelming but it's definitely um, noticeable, the hop there. And, it, and you do get that American feel coming through. Which I think was an interesting decision for them given that they were going for like a very old school British style porter to use American hops. is a very interesting decision. Finish is really smooth. Quite a, a full mouth feel. That, that um, the addition of the oats uh, clearly evident there in the mouth feel and the finish. Lovely smoothness to it. Good head retention as well. Bit of lacing on the glass. Looks very nice in this uh, Fuller's glass with the uh, outline of the River Thames running around it. It's certainly quite different from the standard Fuller's London Porter with a higher alcohol content, more bitterness, but that lovely smooth mouthfeel really finishes it off nicely. Yeah, that is a really, really good porter. Fuller is one of my favorite international breweries. Uh, we're lucky enough to get quite a few of their beers here in South Africa and this is a really really good one to to get hold of if you can find it. In terms of ratings I think this beer scores highly in all categories. The aroma is really good, good flavor, the finish is great, that smoothness from the oats really really finishes it off nicely. So I think it's gonna have to get pretty good marks all around and I'm gonna rate this 4.3 out of 5. Um, Certainly one of the nicest porters that I've tasted. 
I'm not sure if I like it more than uh, Fuller's London Porter, but certainly this is a really, really delicious beer and one that I highly recommend you, you try and get hold of. So thanks very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, like, share and subscribe. Also follow me on Twitter, come like the Maltops and Fiction page on Facebook. Also untapped and ratebeer.com, you'll find more of my beer reviews there. All the information and links are in the description below. And until next time, cheers! Mm -hmm.